Okay, so I want to give you a bit of a rundown of my Lightboard Studio. So it's actually a pretty small room. It's only three meters by three meters. I've got it set up so I can do green screen work as well. Um, when I do Lightboard work, I've got a screen behind me, just a black backdrop screen, and that's just on a curtain rail there at the top. I actually painted the wall as well, but then I end up putting the screen over the top, so that's not really necessary. But then I've also got another black screen on the other side. That stops any reflection on the glass. So then you can see, here, here's my tripod. So the camera is actually going to be on this side of the light board, around about in this position here. Now I'll talk to you a little bit more about the settings uh, in a little while, but obviously the lights are going to be off. So I'll just show you a bit more about the, the lighting here for a moment. Um, I've got LED light here on either side and also uh, one on top as well, which is called the hair light. Uh, as you can see here, I've, I've, these have got barn doors on them, but I've just added a little bit more of an extension on the barn door. The idea there is to ensure that there's no light on our backdrop so it looks absolutely black and you can see the talent or the person doing the speaking uh, really bright up against a absolutely matte black backdrop. So I've just got these LED lights then um, on light stands and down here you'll also see that I've got a, um, a shotgun mic, that is a roadie or road shotgun mic um, and so you really need your microphone on um, your on the speaker side of the glass. Uh, otherwise, it sounds like you're in a public toilet because it just vibrates off the glass. The voice vibrates off the glass. So the the presenter actually sits in this particular light where they sit, but because these will be adjusted for standing, um, and they obviously sit on this side, um, riding away looking at the camera, talking to the camera, and then obviously in post-production we flip it around so the writing looks like it's the right way around. Okay, so this light board I made very cheap. It's just out of um, some some uh, pine timber that I actually used a, a saw, a, a bench saw, to recess, uh, which allowed me then to put my LED lights through the recess. And then, so I actually did three sides um, placed my LED lights in and then I grabbed my piece of glass and slid it in the top and then secured uh, the top. Okay, so the LED was thicker than the glass so I just put this foam here just, um, just to hold it in place, that's all there is, there's no glue or anything holding it in place and also to stop the LED light from, from sneaking out. This is quite portable this one, so um, I actually do take it around the place. I've taken it to some conferences and set that up, etc. So I have uh, just made up this uh, frame just out of stuff that I had at home. And, um, and the idea here is you undo this wing nut and take that bolt out and then it can just lift up. So it's just a matter of, you know, problem that needs to be solved. So you think about what you've got available and off you go from there. Um, I have done a few little modifications along the way, like I've added a bit more bracing for stiffness, etc. Look, this glass is only three mil thick. Uh, it's it, it's just picture frame as glass. It's still ultra clear, which is important. Um, but it, you know, it was it cost me about thirty bucks, or probably less, twenty bucks. So it was really cheap. The, be aware though that because it's only twenty mil, it does flex a little bit. Uh, and it's actually not uh, shatterproof, you know, safety glass. So I don't let my students use this light board. I'm actually getting a, a larger light board made by a student at the moment. It's got 10 mil glass and it will be the safety glass. Probably the most important thing to get a good look where you've got nice clear image of the talent, nice clear look of the writing on the screen and an absolutely black backdrop is the camera. If you're going to spend money, spend money on your camera. 
This is a digital SLR that I use. It uh, allows me to put it under manual focus, but more importantly, I'm able to make the aperture and the shutter speed on uh, manual, so I can change it around to whatever I uh, to, to to what's desirable for me, such that I don't see a. Uh, so it takes out the backdrop, takes out any smudges on the screen, but the writing is still very, very nice and clear. And the last thing to add is just to clean the glass, I just use like a microfiber cloth. Uh, I do, I have one that's wet, and then I go over it again when it's dry. You don't need to be too worried about having uh, little smudges on it, because if you set up your camera right, you won't see them. <coughs> just occurred to me that it still looks pretty smudgy so I'll just show you what it looks like when the smudges have stopped. So it needs to be clean but it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect.